Here at IIT Material Advantage, safety is our top priority. Pictured here is a general example of what is required for those in our lab to be wearing whilst working with hot materials. Everyone is also required to take our school's lab safety precautions lecture and must undergo safety training upon their first visit to the lab. A kopesh is an Egyptian sickle-shaped sword that evolved from the battle axe, and the distinctual curve sets it apart from normal swords and allows the wielder to do a few special things, including pulling away an opponent's shield or trapping their arm, in addition to the usual functions a sword can provide. Taking a loose copper bar we had lying around the lab, we decided to simulate how difficult it would be to get the signature curve of the kopesh. It ended up not being too terribly difficult, as you can see. Although we wanted to cast the billets we intended to forge from, we knew that this could be very dangerous, so we made sure our pourer had as much safety equipment on him as we could muster. When all was said and done, we had three billets at our disposal, just as we had planned. We figured that the best way to make use of our aluminum bronze was to have a backup billet in case something went wrong with the forging of the other two. Once enough of our team was trained on the rolling mill we had in our lab, we were able to roll our two chosen billets into our desired length. The first step in any good forging process is to draw out what you're hoping to forge on a fireproof material, so that way you can make sure the design you have remains close to the design you want throughout the process. We then began forging. We knew that kopeshes in the past had a few spikes put into them so as to grab shields easier, and we decided the best way to implement that would be to hammer in a railroad spike to create a small gap and then let it get larger naturally as we curved the blade. Once the main shape of the blade was finished, we then had to work on drawing out the front spike and making the edge. This is the final result. We also made a blade to destroy and characterize in the lab. The tests performed included tensile, Sharpie impact, Vickers micro hardness, optical microscopy, scanning electron microscopy, and energy dispersive x-ray spectroscopy to ensure we fully understood the properties. After some cleaning up, it was time to attach the handle. We accomplished this by setting some rods through the handle section and then using a two-part epoxy to stick the blade and the sides of the handle together. After waiting a day or so, we came back and began working on the final state of the blade. After much more grinding of both the handle and the blade, we finished. Just as in the days of old, we've made a blade fit for a pharaoh.